On the coast of New Jersey are some of the finest beaches to be found anywhere in the world. Here, on a narrow neck of land, nestled between the Atlantic Ocean and the quiet waters of Barnegat Bay, is Seaside Heights, the town that Fun built. From the Garden State Parkway, Route 37 brings the motorist directly to Toms River, New Jersey, where a causeway over Barnegat Bay ends in the heart of Seaside Heights itself. On the oceanfront in the southern section of town, a colorful modern amusement park is connected by a boardwalk and a half-mile stretch of beautiful beach to another amusement center with an adjoining fishing pier and a saltwater swimming pool. Each year, tens of thousands of pleasure-bound vacationists come to Seaside Heights. While there are many things to do, certainly the beach itself is one of the main attractions. The soft sand, the cool wind from the sea, and the pleasant murmur of the surf are a welcome change from the heat and hurry of the workaday world. This is a time for leisure, a time to enjoy the summer sun and the informality of the beach. In unhurried tempo, the ocean breakers unfold softly over the wet sand. Here, everyone can enjoy the sun and surf in his own time and in his own way. After a cooling swim in the ocean, one thing is definitely in order. The hot summer sun now seems just pleasantly warm. And while you're working on a tan, there's that wonderful feeling of accomplishing something while doing absolutely nothing. Everywhere, young people can be seen enjoying each other's company. The really professional sun worshippers, of course, rarely go near the water, but they add to the attractiveness of the beach, too. This wise couple knows there's a lot more to see and do besides enjoying the beach, so they're breaking camp. The spacious boardwalk is always a center of activity with many interesting stands and concessions to be examined. Some people enjoy merely watching the activity on the beach, but the majority prefer trying their luck at one of the games of chance. They're scrupulously fair, and your chance of winning is good. While people are still heading toward the beach, another attraction is proving almost irresistible, especially to the youngsters. Actually, the mid-afternoon hours, while most people are still at the beach, is a wonderful time to enjoy the fun of the amusement areas. There's a wide variety of rides to choose from, but the color and activity on the pier is an experience in itself. Parents will never forget the expressions of joy and excitement on the faces of their children when they find the ride that's just right for them. Here, too, are many stands which sell literally hundreds of trinkets and souvenirs. But it's the rides which are always closest to the hearts of the small fry. We've seen only a few of the attractions in the amusement areas, but let's move on. A favorite meeting place of many who come regularly to Seaside Heights is this Olympic-length saltwater swimming pool. It's always immaculate and beautifully maintained. The high diving board is a wonderful place for fun for those who can summon the nerve. The low board requires practice too. Under the watchful eye of the lifeguard, the smaller children can frolic in safety at the shallow end of the pool. And when it's between a boy and a girl, teenagers can always find something interesting to talk about. The fishing is good at Seaside Heights, too. These charter boats strolling quietly offshore daily bring back their share of several species of game fish. These striped bass will be weighed and entered in the summer-long competition. Not all the prize fish are caught on the charter boats, 
Many weak fish, blues and stripers are also taken on this fishing pier. Yes, the Blue Atlantic has been kind to Seaside Heights. The oceanfront offers unparalleled facilities for summer enjoyment. The tranquil waters of Barnegat Bay on the other side of town provide a striking contrast to the oceanfront. Here on the bay, the waters deepen so gradually that they form an ideal spot for swimming and play for even the smallest children. The watchful lifeguard is almost unnecessary. Parents can really relax as they cast only an occasional glance at their children who are busy with projects of their own. The nearby pier is one of two maintained by the borough. Every day, both young and old occupy themselves with crabbing. Some use a simple hand line with bait tied to a string. The technique of others is somewhat more elaborate, but both are effective. Barnegat Bay is one of the centers of sailboating on the eastern seaboard. For those who enjoy this stimulating sport, there are both the pleasures of solitary sailing and the frequent regattas from nearby yacht clubs. Our boat enthusiasts have fine facilities too. If you own your own boat, it can be economically moored here, or you can rent boats by the day or week. Motorboats, of course, are used in the fastest growing water sport of them all. Water skiing is caught on everywhere. At Seaside Heights, you'll find complete facilities for accomplished skiers, as well as instruction for beginners. It's hard to beat this sport for fun and excitement. And it's not nearly as difficult as it looks. With a little practice and the right amount of nonchalance, you can look like a million dollars. Of course, there are those other times when you hope nobody's looking. This gal is poised and graceful. Maybe next time. Near the oceanfront is the home of the man who, more than any other, is responsible for the development of the borough of Seaside Heights. He is Mayor J. Stanley Tunney, now serving his 12th term in office. Under Mayor Tunney, Seaside Heights has acquired one of the best equipped small police departments to be found anywhere. The volunteer fire department can get moving in a hurry. One of the borough's proudest boasts is that in over 35 years, there has not been a single case of drowning on its beaches. You're looking at the reason why. An exceptionally efficient lifeguard staff practices daily the newest techniques in water rescue. Notice the teamwork. When the signal is given, both guards and victims are drawn into safety. It's by constant practice such as this that the men are ready when a real emergency arises. Despite its resort character, Seaside Heights is a community of homes and churches. Here, too, you'll find all the conveniences of town living, from this bank to the local block-long department store. There are modern supermarkets serving people with efficiency apartments, as well as up-to-the-minute hardware and drug stores, all in the space of just a few blocks. Clean restaurants serving well-prepared meals are ready to serve you during your stay. Of major concern to any visitor to a shore resort is the supply and quality of overnight accommodations. At Seaside Heights, the selection is both wide and good. Typical is this motel, which can do much to make your visit a pleasant one. 
These young people, after a day at the beach, are already making plans for the evening. An invitation to tour the boardwalk is eagerly accepted. The amusement areas are waiting. After dark, the spirit of fun and exhilaration increases in tempo as the fun town and casino pier signs beckon the visitor into a world of light and color. A world of excitement, full of the sights and sounds of carnival. The spirit of Mardi Gras as people arrive by the thousands to try the rides or promenade the boardwalk. The number of things to see and do is seemingly endless. Skillo, played much like bingo, attracts large groups every night. Concentration prevails as each player hopes to win a valuable prize. But while it's still early, parents of small children will want to give the youngsters a chance to sample the rides that are designed especially for them. Here is a world of enchantment for children. Sense will go a long way on the nickel pier. And the merry-go-round is always popular. The nearby arcade offers a dozen games of skill and chance. adults and children will want to try fascination. Here too, skillful playing is rewarded by exciting prizes. The crisp night air on the boardwalk whets the appetite. A variety of foods prepared before your eyes are equally attractive to the power. Immaculate service and high spirits do much to contribute to the enjoyment of eating on the boardwalk. There's a selection to please every taste. Fun candy is a favorite of children everywhere. Many of the candies are made right on the premises and are not only delicious, but are beautifully packaged and displayed in clean, well-lighted shops. The high rides, representing the very peak of excitement, are imported from all over the world. Here's excitement enough for anyone. No park is complete without the ever-popular Ferris wheel. But the thrill of winning at games continues to engross many. Even the youngsters win prizes. Several of the games can be found in both amusement areas. None of the boards is alike. Each is hand-painted and a source of pride to its owner. Like to have your fortune told? This pleasant-faced woman puts a lot of natural wisdom into her readings. But perhaps you're thinking of the folks back home. In the souvenir shops, you can find something attractive for everyone. Usually, a late evening snack is a must. Maybe you'll want to sample a different food this time. There's still plenty of variety to choose from. The Beachcomber is one of several nightclubs where during the later evening hours you'll find a convivial atmosphere and top entertainment which is booked into the club from all over the country. Perhaps you like rock and roll. Or perhaps your taste runs to a somewhat more sophisticated act. In 
either case, you're sure to enjoy yourself. The Parrot Club also offers an intimate atmosphere, excellent service, and first-rate entertainment. There's something for everyone, both young and old, at the amusement parks at Seaside Heights. Color, excitement, and fun are there waiting for you and your entire family. At the end of your stay, the causeway and Route 37 will take you directly to the Garden State Parkway, which connects with all roads north, south, and west. As you leave Seaside Heights, the chances are that you'll heave the friendly signs and hurry back to the town that fun built.